American actress Laura San Giacomo was born on the 14th of November 1962 and she won the Independent Spirit Award for Best Supporting Female for her role as Cynthia in the film Sex, Lies and Videotape in 1989. Most old-time television viewers know her as the very attractive magazine editor Maya in the hit comedy series Just Shoot Me between 1997 and 2003. Out in the back of the magazine like we usually do. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just such a shame, because I always think it should be at the front. Me too, because spring says my journey is commencing. Exactly. Spring is the beginning. Spring is birth. I have looked into April, and I see spring has arrived. I am fertile and reborn. Mm. Eric Lev. Yeah. But she is much more than a TV sitcom star. Laura is also a talented dramatic actress who has many major films and stage production credits. Additionally, she is a spokesperson for disability-related causes and a staunch advocate for inclusive education. Laura has been married twice and she has a son who has cerebral palsy. There's just so much to learn about her and her career in this video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? What are you waiting for? Tap on the subscribe button and touch the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. Lara San Giacomo is an American with Italian heritage. She was born to Mary Jo and Joe San Giacomo in West Orange, New Jersey in 1962, and her parents are paper mill owners. Laura grew up in Denville, New Jersey, and she attended Morris Knowles High School. Yes. What did you start out to be? An actor. <laughs> I mean, I just, um, I knew that I wanted to be an actor, and um, I went to Carnegie Mellon and um, trained to be an actor there. During an interview with Ability Magazine, the superstar revealed that she discovered she wanted to pursue a career in acting during high school. In 1984, she bagged a fine arts degree specializing in acting from Carnegie Mellon School of Drama in Pittsburgh. Upon graduation, she moved to New York City and participated in theater productions. Laura starred in a couple of stage plays including The Wrong Turn at Longfish in Los Angeles, produced by Gary Marshall Lowell Gans. Three Sisters by the Princeton MacArthur Theater production, The Italian-American Reconciliation, and regional productions of Shakespeare's The Tempest, As You Like It, Romeo and Juliet, and Crimes of the Heart. She even received special recognition for her meticulous acting during a review of the Walnut Street Theatre 1986 presentation of As You Like It, getting the only show interrupting applause of the evening despite playing a minor role. Laura San Giacomo soon transitioned to film, making her first television appearance in four episodes on three television series in 1987. She appeared in Crime Story in 1988 for the episode Protected Witness, where she starred as Theresa Farentino and in Miami Vice in 1989 for the episode Leap of Faith as Tanya Lewis. Prior to that, Laura San Giacomo played Luisa Sanchez on the daytime soap opera All My Children. Luisa was the Latina common law wife of Mitch Peck, played by Brian Fitzpatrick, whose presence threatened to thwart his relationship with Hilary Martin, played by Carmen Thomas. Giacomo first got her international recognition for her role in Steve Soderbergh's Sex, Lies and Videotape in 1989. It also marked her film debut as a credited actor. She received a Los Angeles Film Critics Association New Generation Award and also went on to be nominated for the Golden Globe Awards for the film. Well, he's not a bum. He's a rich, classy guy. Who's gonna break my heart, right? I don't know. Come on, you don't know that. Hey, he asked you, right? Maybe you guys could, like, um, you know, get a house together and, like, buy some diamonds and a horse, I don't know. Anyway, it could work, it happens. A year later, Laura San Giacomo played a supporting cast role alongside Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, further cementing herself as a top actress. She also appeared in Quigley Down Under in 1990, Vital Signs in 1990, Under Suspicion in 1991, Once Around in 1991, Where the Day Takes You in 1992, Nina Takes a Lover in 1994, and a host of others. Laura continued with films, and in 2001, she landed a starring role in the biopic Jennifer, about a woman who had been diagnosed with amyotropic lateral sclerosis. As many people will know, bringing a child into the world changes many things. 
and it plays a major factor in Laura Sangiokomo's transition back to television from films. Despite having a newborn, she was still very much interested in working but didn't want to be away from her son for months at a time, as movies would require, which is what spurred her to change her focus to TV shows, which gave her a regular work schedule and she also didn't have to travel as much. Fortunately, the CBS Studio Center, the site of her new television project tapings, was located within the vicinity of her San Fernando Valley residence. It also prompted a new era and perhaps brought about her best-known role as the neo-feminist character Maya Gallo in the sitcom Just Shoot Me between 1997 and 2003. Laura played the role of a smart, hot-tempered, sassy journalist who reluctantly took a job at her father's fictional glamour magazine Blush. The series was meant to be centered around Laura Sangiacomo's character, Maya, but the plot soon began to revolve around Dennis Finch's character played by David Spade by season 3 of the TV show. Despite that, Laura remained an integral part of the show and with top billing. She along with four other main cast members appeared in all 148 episodes. Additionally, her work during the second season of the series earned her a Golden Globe nomination in 1998 for Best Actress in a Television Comedy or Musical, but actress Callista Flockhart of Ali McBeal beat her to the award. Early on during her career, she got married to Cameron Dye, whom she met during her first television appearance of Merit Miami Vice in 1989. The pair got married in 1990 and had a son together named Mason Dye, who has cerebral palsy. Laura Sangiacomo and Cameron Dye divorced in 1998. The actress focused more on her acting as well as the well-being of her son after her first marriage to Cameron Dye failed. However, when she and Matt Adler met on a film set, they began dating and eventually tied the knot in 2000 in a private ceremony with close friends and family members in attendance. Matt Adler is also an actor known for his role in Teen Wolf, White Water Summer and many more. Matt and Laura have enjoyed a peaceful union since they got together and they currently reside in San Fernando Valley with Laura's son. Being on screen constantly comes with a price to pay as entertaining viewers by all means necessary is one of the ways to stay relevant or be in conversation. Part of the task of being an entertainer and a celebrity is always keeping your fans talking about you. Many actors and actresses since the creation of the entertainment industry have appeared with little or no clothing depending on the roles played in certain respects and Laura Sangiacomo won't be the last. Famous for her meticulous acting, pretty face and ample bosom, Laura has oftentimes been seen in scenes where she had to be topless and it's become very popular amongst viewers, fans and even co-actors. In a February 2000 interview with Maxim, Sangya Komu's bosom came up in the conversation when they jokingly asked her co-star David Spade if they were some sort of special effect due to the size. Spade replied saying that the Just Shoot Me headquarters often receive letters from viewers regarding Sangya Komu's endowment. He also continued saying, just like in the case of his television character, Finch, who supposedly once secretly videotaped Maya changing into a jogging bra and dubbed it the Maya thing, Spade is an admitted fan of them as well. However, he claimed to never have been aroused by his buxom co-star while on the set of the series. The show's writers, having taken note of Sangya Como's ample bosom as well, occasionally wrote dialogue for Maya's fellow peers, usually Finch or Nina Van Horn, to poke fun at the enormity of her bust. According to several sources, the film and TV star has racked up millions over the years for her role in diverse movies and TV shows. Laura Sangio Como is estimated to be worth well over $6 million. Aside from serving for many years as an entertainer, she also immersed herself in humanitarian work and continues to stay involved with her charities as long as she is needed. The actress gives both monetary aid and amplifies their causes with her superstar reach. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cytomex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.